Landboards presents Opto Isolators Part 1 Basic Operation. The basic op amp test circuit consists of a drive circuit driving the LED with some series resistor to limit the current and set the current, and a collector pull up resistor on the output side with the inputs both grounded. Now, in this circuit shown here, they're not isolated, but they normally would be isolated, the grounds. For this test, we're going to use an Arduino Uno running the blink sketch with the blinks speeded up and generating a square wave output. The square wave that we're going to use is high for 10 milliseconds and low for 10 milliseconds for a cycle time of 20 milliseconds. Here's a look at the worst case timing, which is when the input shuts off the LED and the output turns on or gets pulled up by the resistor. It's a very slow transition, about 26 microseconds. The transition in the other direction is much quicker, and this is on the same time scale. And zooming in to look at it, we'll see how it looks there as well. It's about two microseconds, so better than 10 times faster than the direction of the output from low to high. So a couple of preliminary things worth noting at this point is that the function of the opto coupler is an inverter function. So if you don't want the signal to invert, it would require an external inverter. Um, the speeds uh, were also noted here. It's also worth noting the difference in the rise and fall times of the outputs. When the LED gets shut off and the output rises back up, the rise time is very slow, but when the LED gets actively driven, the output gets driven fairly quickly as well, and that's noted in these two timing diagrams. So let's take a look at the data sheet that we're using. The part we've selected is a 4N25. It comes in a standard six pin dip. Critical factor of the 4N25 is it has a 20% CTR or current transfer ratio. We'll take a look at what that means in a few minutes. Turns out it's a very critical parameter. A couple of the absolute maximum rating values that are worth noting are the forward current, which can't be more than 60 milliamps, and the collector current, which can't be more than 50 milliamps. The forward voltage of the LED at 50 milliamps is 1.5 volts maximum. The characteristics of the output transistor are lim listed here. None of them are particularly important to this particular test we're doing. The data sheet includes a table which lists the low to high and high to low propagation values. Plotting in our 4.7K ohm collector load resistor gives a table value of about 1.5 microseconds for the prop from high to low and 25 microseconds in the other direction. And this very closely matches what we measured earlier. That chart then gives us some ideas for circuit improvements, how we can improve the speed of the circuit. If we lower the collector resistor value, that will improve the operating point. Let's take a look at the chart and see where that moves it. So if we change that collector value, resistor value from 4.7K down to a 1.2K resistor, that should take the low to high propagation time to about 18 microseconds. That should be a very nice improvement with very little change in the other direction, the high to low propagation. Now here's where the current transfer ratio or 20% of the part comes into play. For a 5 volt output swing across a 1.2K ohm resistor, that would be 4.1 milliamps of collector current. If the current transfer ratio is 20%, that's five times as much. Therefore, the base current would have to be 20 milliamps. With uh, three and a half volts across that base resistor at 20 milliamps, that's about 175 ohms base resistor value. So after changing out those two resistors, what were the results? Well, the low to high propagation time saw a significant decrease from 26 microseconds down to about 20 microseconds. And the propagation from high to low was not significantly affected. And as you might expect, the rise time got significantly better, going from 14 microseconds down to 4 microseconds. And the fall time didn't change significantly. It's largely dominated by the drive of the LED coming on quickly and driving hard. So what sort of conclusions can we come to about opto-isolators based on what we've seen? The first thing that we should note is that the speed is very slow of op amps. They're about 20 microseconds in the one direction. And that was even after some circuit, basic circuit optimization. Perhaps even more troubling for using in communications interfaces, the asymmetry of the high to low and low to high times are significant. In fact, at least an order of magnitude in difference. 
in part two of this video, we'll take a look and see what other things we can do to optimize the speed besides the easy, simple solutions. For more information, check out our wiki page. We also have a YouTube channel where you can learn how to use these products, and we sell our products on Tindy. Thanks for watching our video.